Please visit papersailor.com to learn more about my book, Accidental Sailor Girl. So, it's kind of dark right now. I'm recording when it's dark out. Light! That's a little better. It took 43 days to cross the North Atlantic, and we landed in Bayona, Spain. We went down uh, Portugal. First we went to uh, Nazare, which was beautiful. Uh, there was fish drying racks, and the town was real tucked away in this. It was all hooked around this big point that stuck out into the water. Marina was pretty much a cutout into the beach, so you were going into the marina and there was all these, just these rocks piled up that was really the only thing protecting you from the ocean. Wild going in there and uh, docking next to the fishing boats. We stayed in Nazare for a little while and ate some really good food. I mean, the pâtés and the fish, and it was just about, it was about, it was about the bountiful sea. Then we went to Berlinga Islands. It's right off of Peniche. He climbed up these stairs to the top, and uh, there's this monastery uh, set on the hill. Down at the bottom of the islands, of the Berlinga Islands, there's all these caves that you can row into, and, and the water's crystal clear so you can see the bottom and you can see all the rocks. And the rocks are red, it's like these red rocks. There's these polka dotted lizards on the island. Then I went around Cape St. Vincent and uh, the wind, it was good, the weather was good. Um, it picked up when we got around the Cape. We were, we were contemplating putting up our square sails, but we were real glad that we didn't. Once we rounded the cape, the winds picked up to about 25 or 30. So we were going through the Algarve, and the Algarve, there's a lot of rivers, and some of the rivers are have real hard, the currents are strong, and our engine wasn't doing good. Uh, it had a blown head gasket. We knew that if we tried to go into any of these rivers that uh, we might have some overheating problems and that wouldn't be good to not have an engine going in there. Well, we just decided to keep going and we went to uh, Chipiona, Spain, kind of near the Seville River. So then, after we left Chipiona, we went around Gibraltar. We didn't actually stop at Gibraltar on the way in. Um, we decided we'd see that on the way out. Uh, we figured we'd just keep going. know how the med was. Um, the weather changes very often. There's wind coming from several different directions. Med. You've got mistrels that comes from the Gulf of the Lion, and then you've got winds that come off of Africa. We decided to sail to Sardinia, and we went to uh, Porto Conte in Sardinia, uh, right where the Neptune's Grotto is. The weather was real nice for a little while. We got to see whales. A day away from Sardinia. We were almost there. Weather changed. It was no longer nice weather. We started to get uh, weather on our nose. I think what we thought was going to be like a three or four day trip, it ended up being a five day trip because uh, we were stuck out there for about a day and a half. For a day and a half, we beat into some pretty heavy winds and seas. Whoa. We are almost to Sardinia. Where are we at? Not yet. 
said I was um fasting. Once the weather finally changed, we uh, pulled into Sardinia and the first thing we saw was this just beautiful cliff. Once we got into Sardinia, we, we fixed the engine. We took the head off of the engine and fixed the head gasket. We stayed in Sardinia for nine months, and, I th and next time I create a video, I'll I'll show some some of the beauty of Sardinia. This is a Paper Sailor production. Please visit papersailor.com. <laughs>